Peterson and I am the PE teacher at Weaver Elementary. I'm Miss Huntley, I teach STEM at Weaver. And so today we're gonna combine our two subject areas to solve a problem that we have in our new unit for PE. We're gonna be starting a jump roping unit, but we realize that there are some students that probably don't have a jump rope at home. So we thought we'd go through the engineering and design process to help us solve this problem. We asked, what's our problem? Well, our problem is we don't have a jump rope, so we are going to create one. Ms. Peterson and I already imagined different ways we could create it, and we decided on using plastic bags. We came up with a plan for how we were gonna do it and the materials we needed. We knew we needed plastic bags, scissors to cut them, and we'll be tying and braiding them. So now we are gonna show you our create step. I'll let Ms. Peterson explain how to do it. All right. So I have some different color bags here and you can use any type of plastic bag you have. It can be bread bags, bags from like the dollar store or Target, or you can use big bags here. These, some of them were from a shoe store and I use different colors just to show the difference once we get going. So I started with the big one, which I cut into three strips, but I didn't cut the very end because you're gonna start with a knot. So it'll make it a little easier and we'll finish with the knot at the end too, but this gives us our three strands. So now I have three strands. And these handles are gonna come in helpful too when we go to add more. I'm gonna have Miss Huntley hold it, and then I just start braiding. So I bring one side over, and then the other side over, and I just keep bringing one side over the middle one, as you would with a normal braid. And then when I get down towards the end, then I have to attach another one. Now this piece doesn't have a handle, so if that happens, I just take another bag, just kind of twist it in there, and just twist them together, and it will all get covered over in the braiding process. And it will just keep adding. Now I need to add another one. So I'm gonna choose a different color so we can see different colors as we go here. You keep just keep braiding it. the whole way and add new bags to make it longer strands. Yep. So we just keep doing this and eventually we end up with a fully braided jump rope, which I'll show you in just a minute. We're gonna speed this up, watch us build our jump rope and we'll get back to you at the end. So when you finish, it's gonna look something like this. And I'll bring it up close so you can kind of see the detail of the braid. And you're gonna tie a knot at the end. For length, the length of a jump rope, you wanna be able to stand in the middle of it and it should come up between your waist and your armpit to be the right length for a single rope. If you wanna make a longer one and make a double dutch rope, you can do that too but this will give you a rope to use for all the jump roping skills we're gonna cover in this unit. Have fun creating.